I'm Isolda and I'm going to teach you how to tie the perfect Christmas bow just in time for the holidays. You can make this as part of a tree topper or add it to a wreath or if you're making bows for a dress you can certainly do that or handbags. There is one little secret that I'm going to show you that I learned after doing an internship where I tied bows for six months straight onto handbags and it's so useful and it makes the bow look really cute. So just cut your desired length. I'm just gonna roughly guess a yard or so. So we have enough to work with. Now you can tie this around some kind of base, like a ring holder or something even sturdier. Um, I'm just gonna do this by hand though. So I'm just gonna fold my bow over like this to make an ear. And it's obviously easier if you do this on something this is sewn on to or something like that. But anyway, the next trick before you wrap your second ear around this one is you want to fold this fabric in half lengthwise and maybe even into quarters. It's kind of a judgment call, but I'm going to go with half right now and see how it turns out. So I'm going to pinch this in half as I wrap it around my bow so I have a nice cute little center here that's being created. Then I'm going to push this through and make another ear, making sure I keep my center nice and tight so that's tiny. And then I'm going to pull tight and I'm going to shape it a little which again, definitely easier on a dress form or just anything that you have that you can use as a base. Then to make the tails even, I'm gonna just pull this back a little. And I'm gonna shape it with my finger with a lot of attention to detail and kind of make it cute and puffy. Same with this side. Maybe pull this tail down, make my tails even also. And also straighten my center. pretty good. What do you think? I can make it a little cuter and puffier. I could bring my tails lower so if I wanted it smaller, but I think that's a good size for a Christmas tree. So just imagine that you're doing this around the top of a Christmas tree, for example, or you have wire that, I mean, if, if you do it this way, you can certainly insert wire through the back of this if you're going to apply it to a wreath or something. Um, but yeah, I usually just tie it to the top of a Christmas tree and just get up on a stool and do this. And then once it's tied onto there, then I take my scissors, I fold the tail in half like this, lengthwise, just like we talked about before. I take fabric scissors, not paper scissors, and I cut from the center outward. And you should end up with a nice little pointed part there is a nice detail and do the same to the other side and you can hold it like this if you want to at first and kind of hand press it into place before you cut it so it stays pretty sturdy and then you pinch it again here and then just cut see and it wants to move on me so I'm going to hold it up a little closer just watch your fingers as you cut Yeah, and I messed up. So I'm gonna cut it. When you mess up, just cut a fresh line really close to your original line. There we go. Nice clean lines. And then you have a lovely bow to serve as a tree topper. And if you want to take it one step further, say this is something you want to reuse. 
you can take a lighter without touching directly to the ribbon. You can just kind of melt the edges. Um, just be careful with it. Again, you don't want to touch it directly to the ribbon, but you'll start to see that the um, end will kind of do like a subtle melting and that'll keep this from fraying, which is really nice when you're applying this to handbags, clothing, um, Christmas trees or wreaths. So I hope that was helpful. Have a good night, guys. Bye.